Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Easter egg. <laughs> I mean, there's still more. You'd have to get through a lot before you got revenge. And you'd oh no! Very, you'd very you do look like you're brandishing some sort of sci-fi weapon right now, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, why does the iron have a torch? Uh, why does it not turn off? Why are you doing ironing in the dark? <laughs> We're all very tired. A little bit. Tired's putting it lightly. Like, I think Blair had the longest journey. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the longest journey. <laughs> but we're here. But we're here. Yeah, it's just before nine o'clock. It feels like two, it should be later than that, but yeah. that's where we're at. <laughs> the other two are just finishing up the stall. They've got all the props and junk over there. We're going to take over the last of them in the morning. Uh, Debbie is doing all of the ironing because her dress decided to take a running leap and then kill itself in the back of her wardrobe. Um, I've never known dresses to do that, but that's a cool analogy. Well, it took half an hour to find it, so... Okay, so it, it really did then. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Well, it's a black wardrobe and it's a black dress. <laughs> <laughs> Camouflage. <laughs> Who's the most goth one here? Like, you sure? <laughs> oh, yeah, you haven't seen our room. That's true. No, it, it, it's just purple and black. That is her room. With some crystal. Oh. And fairies. And fairies. Yeah. <laughs> in summary, we're all very tired, but we are here in the hotel for insomnia. We're here, we're queer, we're not full of fear anymore, we're all good. Let's... yes. Yes. Hello! Ah, we are... <laughs> We are at Insomnia. Uh, the con is opening in a hot minute. Um, we have, we're here with lovely costume and plate as always. Uh, we are in a really cool spot this year. Uh, so, here is the table. Do, 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 do. We got the prop zone. We got the doctor. We got the craft zone. We got the sales zone. And you want to see where the main entrance to the con is? It's right there. Yeah. Uh, we are literally like five steps from the main entrance where everyone's going to come in. Uh, which is pretty, pretty spicy. We've got Katie chilling in the background. Um, we've got lovely John Kaplan opposite us. Uh, we've got Envious. We've got lots of lots of lovely people, and lots of lovely people, lots of amazing props. There's a uh, the trellis with all the lovely flowers on. We're gonna do a quick zoom round. Um, all the lovely people, uh, all Amazonian cosplay, envious. We got Beth von Brooks. We got Colgan. We got Blair's here. Hi. Drew's here. Everyone's favourite. <laughs> we got right. Connor. <laughs> um, we got the lovely. Uh, Cherry blossom tree, losing the words. We have an absolutely beautiful dragon. Look how cute he is. And my absolute favourite. Hi, Sil. Sorry, Sil. Uh, how cool is this tavern? Oh boy. I love it. I'm going to be getting so many photos in that after con ends. And a very good goblin. Hello. A very tall goblin. <laughs> very tall oh, no, goblin. Like yeah. It's my little hey. goblin. Hey! <laughs> Scratches! Um, but yeah, it's looking good. We are primed to start and get ready and go. Oh, and we've also got the Galactic Knights beside us. Um, there's a lot going on. Uh, but it's insomnia, so there's always a lot going on. Uh, hopefully you'll get to see more of it soon. Uh, but essentially we need to kind of go get ready uh, for the big scary door opening. Dobby is a free elf. Dobby is a free elf. And Blink's an actual elf, so you know. Um, we're going to go to food. Um, Bethan's just had happiness talking to the guy who uh, mocapped Arden, John. What is his name? I can't remember his last name. John Campbell. Thank you, John Campbell. Um, and yeah, we're 
we're going to go find food because it's like half twelve and we haven't had a chance to get the food yet. And I ate a cereal bar and drank water. I had like a Starbucks, um, but it was a good tea Starbucks, so it was okay. Uh, and I've had a packet of crisps. So yeah, uh, food and maybe a quick tour of the hall, and we'll get you shots. Bye. We're on an adventure. Yeah, the, the things we do for friends. And here we have, oh wow, Molly having his ass sewn up <laughs> by Yasha. I mean, it seems pretty canon to be honest. <laughs> Anime, Yasha just always fixes his shirt, it's fine. Yeah, Luke ended up custom making some leather trousers for Molly because he wasn't particularly happy with the leggings he had previously. I mean, the plan from the very beginning uh was to make these out of leather. <laughs> I've had the, the hand dyed leather, which I had to dye myself to get the weird frickin' colours. Like, I was like, no, I, I won't make the jacket, but I'll make the trousers out of leather, because that <laughs> seemed like a uh, And this is where we are now. <laughs> yeah, Mel's having to take this chunk out because... I mean, luckily I helped. The, the, the phrase that was said was, why have custom leather trousers if it don't make your ass look good? In fairness, I had made these, you know when you make something with a seam allowance, but then you forget you don't sew with a seam allowance? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd cut everything with a seam allowance. So essentially it ended up being like three to four inches too big. Mm. Um, cut many bits off. So even with the corseting up the side, I could still pull them up and down without issue. That means trousers don't fit. <laughs> So we're, we're, we're rectifying that. And he's got a shiny new tail. I do. That he's looking I, forward to wrecking the table with. 
I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I'm one, not looking forward to it, <laughs> two, I would like to clarify, um, and two, that's not my intention. <laughs> I mean, luckily, I had some experience of sewing some of these boys together before, so I know, like, roughly the stretchiness and stuff mm. of the leather. Yeah, like... Maybe like a bit of chocolate. Today was relatively <laughs> busy, like... It could have been worse, but She's tomorrow so is apparently going to be a time. Well, yeah, because it's, it's warm. it was 23 degrees today. It's supposed to get mm -hmm. warmer tomorrow. There'll be literally probably three times as many people. They'll all be hopped up on everything. Energy oh. drink. I'm going to oh, need sorry. some. I, need I, I haven't gone hunting to find the stool yet, but I'm going to need some. But I think I'm going to be leaving my fur coat off for fine. most of the day. Yeah. I want to live. Excuse, <laughs> you got, you got the. I mean, it's it's not like gonna have like two people in full face paint and then a person in like a big furry coat or anything. That would be mm. stupid of us. Look, it sounds like you are um, questioning all of the life decisions that have led me <laughs> to this point in my life in a hotel room. With your ass getting sewn up. Let me say. <laughs> in a hotel room. Outside a convention centre. In the middle of blood... Out, middle of nowhere Birmingham. In a silk bathrobe. <laughs> wearing a tail. Getting sewn into a pair of custom leather trousers, which aren't even full length leather trousers. <laughs> they are, they, they, I ask. They are, in fact, leather shorts. <laughs> <laughs> which I believe in. Well, I feed one of my best friends <laughs> chocolate orange Easter egg. <laughs> it sounds like you're questioning <laughs> this. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't appreciate your tone, Sarah. I don't, I don't appreciate you looking at me in that tone of voice quickly. So. Oh, Sarah. I move just one second. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we're going to, well, we're going to continue watching. And continue laughing. Laughing a lot. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.